हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन माय सेल्फ अंकित दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर चैप्टर नंबर वन कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट्स सो वी ऑल नो दैट द फिजिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर व्हिच वी कैन टच एंड सी आर नोन एज कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर एंड देयर आर टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर फर्स्ट वन इज इंटरनल हार्डवेयर एंड सेकेंड वन इज एक्सटर्नल हार्डवेयर सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंटरनल हार्डवेयर इन डिटेल्स सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड कैटेगरी दैट इज एक्सटर्नल हार्डवेयर सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट सो द कंपोनेंट विच are attached to the computer from outside or we can say externally are known as external hardware components okay and these are also known as peripheral devices okay so peripheral devices are the external hardware of any computer system okay so there are three categories of peripherals devices which are input devices output devices and storage devices so first of all i am going to discuss about the input devices input devices okay so first of all what is input so input refers to the data or instructions which we feed into a computer okay so what is the work of input devices so input devices are used to enter input into a computer okay and these devices convert the input data and instructions into a pattern of binary codes and we all know that computer understands only one language that is binary codes or machine language okay so therefore the input devices converts the input data and instructions into binary form okay and then supply this data for processing okay so there are so many input devices available in the computer system okay so we will discuss about each and every input device in details okay so the first device is keyboard the first device the first input device is keyboard okay so keyboard that is the main input device that is used to input data and instruction through typing okay keyboards contain so many keys okay and these keys are used for the typing purpose okay so mainly there are five types of keys available on keyboard the first one is typing keys the first one is typing keys so typing keys contain alphabet keys number keys uh, punctuation keys special symbol keys and these keys includes letters okay and by the help of the keys these keys we can able to typing any information or any data which can be inputted to the into the computer system okay the second types uh, type of keys are control keys so control keys are either used alone or in combination with other keys to perform an action okay so so many uh, control keys are there in the keyboard like control key alt windows logo key es esc or escape key okay so these all are the examples of control keys the next type of keys is function keys so function keys are used to perform a specific task okay and uh, they are placed on the top row of the keyboard and are labeled as f1 f2 f3 f4 to f12 okay and these keys have different functions in different programs okay 
नेक्स्ट वन इज नेविगेशन कीज सो नेविगेशन कीज आर यूज फॉर मूविंग थ्रो डॉक्यूमेंट्स और वेब पेज एंड समटाइम्स नेविगेशन कीज आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर एडिटिंग द टेक्स्ट ओके सो दीज कीज इंक्लूड्स एरो कीज होम एंड पेज अप पेज डाउन डिलीट इंसर्ट एंड सो ऑन ओके नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी इज न्यूमेरिक की पैड ओके सो न्यूमेरिक की पैड Uh, contains number keys from zero to nine, as well as it contains arithmetic operators, decimal points, etc. Okay, and it is placed on the right side of a keyboard and used for entering numbers at a faster speed, faster pace. Okay, so these are the uh, five types of keys which are present on the keyboard. The next input device is mouse so we all know that mouse is the most commonly used input and pointing device which lets us to select and move items on the screen okay so the basic purpose of mouse is to select and move items on the screen it also provide the facility of dragging and dropping which makes it easy to move an item on the screen it also provides simple technique for deleting copying and moving files in the computer system mouse is also provide drawing packages to draw free hand lines circles boxes and other complicated graphic images so that's why we can say mouse is the most important input device available in the computer system next point is types of mouse okay so basically the first there are three type of mouse the first is mechanical mouse okay so mechanical mouse contain a metal or rubber ball on its lower side that can roll in all the directions and the screen pointer moves according to the movement of the ball which is detected by the mechanical sensors within the mouse that means the mechanical sensors sense the movement of ball that's why the skin pointer is able to move on the monitor the next type is opto mechanical mouse so opto mechanical mouse uses a mechanism similar to the mechanical mouse the only difference is that it uses optical sensors to detect the movement of the ball whereas the mechanical mouse uses the uh, mechanism of mechanical sensors okay the mechanical mouse uses the mechanical sensors to detect the movement of the ball whereas opto mechanical mouse uses the optical sensors to detect the movement of the ball okay the third type is optical mouse so optical mouse does not have any mechanical moving parts means it does not contain any ball okay it contain the laser technology optical mouse contain the laser techno technology which is used to used to detect the movement of the mouse okay an optical mouse is more efficient and expensive than the mechanical and opto mechanical mouse okay so these are the three types of uh, three types of mouse okay the next the next one is scanner okay so the next input device is scanner so scanner is the input device which scan text images and objects which are present in the form of hard copy means something which is available in the printed form on a paper okay so that can be scanned by the scanner the scanned data is then converted into a digital image and then that digital image is displayed on the computer screen means that scan data is the is input for the computer next one is 
types of scanner the first type is drum scanner okay so drum scanner is the most efficient and expensive scanner it uses a rotating glass drum it uses the rotating glass drum which is used for the scan purpose which is used for the scanning purpose which one rotating glass drum that is used for the scanning purpose okay and drum scanner is used mainly used in the uh, publishing industry to print high quality of images in books and magazines okay the next type of scanner is flat bed scanner that is flat bed scanner so it contains a flip up cover protecting the glass window means the flat bed scanner contain a glass window okay and that glass window is covered by a flip okay and it is also known as desktop scanner it is also known as desktop scanner and generally the flat bed scanner is used to scan books newspaper articles photographs etc and uses in schools homes and offices etc the next type of scanner is handheld scanner so this is a small manual device which is dragged over the surface of the image to be scanned and this handheld scanner are operated by hand okay and the most uh, used handheld scanner is barcode scanner which is used in shopping mall okay so these are the three types of scanner drum scanner flat bed scanner and handheld scanner input device is microphone okay so we all know that the use of this input device this input device is used to record and store our voice or any other sound into a computer okay and microphone is also is commonly used in a uh, video conferencing uh, recording as well as for radio broad broadcasting service okay and nowadays uh, many of the laptop or computer are coming with inbuilt microphone facility okay the next device is the next input device is light pen okay so light pen is uh, works like the uh, we can say that mouse okay so it is the light sensitive pointing device and commonly used to select or modify data on the screen okay and light pen also uh, allow the users to point on displayed object means we can point any displayed object on the screen as well as we can draw something on the screen screen by the help of light pen okay and light pen is also used for inputting the signatures okay whenever we want to uh, give you know, whenever we want to print any signature so that signature can be uh, input inputted by the help of light pen and that will be digital signature okay the next one is digital camera okay so camera we can say that is quite similar to our traditional camera okay but in the digital camera the images uh, the images will be digital uh, that can be used viewed and edited on a personal computer or we can say in any laptop or other system okay and we then we can also print the photos through a printer okay next one is uh, nowadays we can see mobile phones have inbuilt digital cameras okay and the most the best example of digital camera in the computer is webcam okay and generally this digital camera is used for video conferencing and online chatting okay and as well as we can input data like images and videos into a computer by the help of digital camera okay so now these all are the different type of input devices we have discussed already okay the next category of external hardware component or we can say peripheral devices is that is output devices okay so 
आउटपुट डिवाइसेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज आउटपुट ओके सो आउटपुट इज द प्रोसेस डेटा ओके आउटपुट इज द प्रोसेस डेटा मीन्स वेन एवर वी इनपुट समथिंग दैट इनपुट इज प्रोसेस बाय द सीपीयू एंड देन दैट प्रोसेस डेटा दैट यूजफुल डेटा इज नोन एज आउटपुट ओके एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेज आर यूज टू डिस्प्ले और प्रिंट द प्रोसेस डेटा इन अ यूजर रीडेबल फॉर्म ओके so there are so many output devices available nowadays okay the the first one is monitor okay so monitor is also known as vdu that is visual display unit okay and whatever the monitor is uh, displaying us that is known as soft copy okay that means the output which is displayed on the screen is known as soft copy okay and one more important term is there that is pixel okay pixel means picture element so whenever thousands of small color dots or pixels are collected together so that is known as picture okay so that means the smallest element of any picture is pixel okay and different type of monitors are cathode ray tube or crt liquid crystal display or lcd light emitting diode or led okay so these are the different type of monitors which we are using in the computer system okay next output device is printer okay and printer is the most useful or used input device sorry output device sorry yeah, output device okay so here is the important term is hard copy okay so whatever we get the printed information on the paper that is called hard copy okay so printer provides the output on the paper okay and there are two types of printer first one is impact printer and second one is non impact printer or we can say there are two categories of printer impact and non impact okay so impact printer uh, allow the physical contact between the printer head okay uh, the meaning of printer head is that provides the printing facility that means that prints the information on the paper okay so impact printer allow the physical contact between printer head and paper whereas non impact printers do not allow physical contact okay just listen carefully do not allow physical contact between the printer head and paper so that is the main difference between impact and non impact printer okay and impact printer is also known as character printer okay and the examples of impact printer are daisy wheel printers and dot matrix printers as uh, whereas the examples of non impact printer are thermal printers inkjet printers and laser printers okay the next output device is projector okay that is projector so projector is the output device which takes images generated by a computer and displays them onto a big screen okay so projector takes okay means it works as a output device okay that displays the images the videos the information of a computer into a big screen or wall or any other flat surface okay and projector is used nowadays for uh, classroom purpose as well as for the business pur purpose in offices and also in cinemas uh, in theaters to display the movies etc okay the next hardware component is storage devices okay so we all know that what is the purpose of storage devices these devices are used to store information for future use okay so the commonly used storage devices are the first one is hard disk okay so hard disk is the most important storage device that is available in the computer system okay it is a magnetic storage device which is used to store data as well as well as we can retrieve or access that data later okay next one is 
इन हार्ड डिस्क देयर आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट टर्म्स और वी कैन से सम इम्पोर्टेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ हार्ड डिस्क आर द फर्स्ट वन इज प्लेटर ओके सो एक्चुअली द हार्ड डिस्क इज मेड अप ऑफ अ कलेक्शन ऑफ डिस्क विच आर नोन एज प्लेटर्स ओके सो प्लेटर्स आर द डिस्क विच आर अरेन्ज ऑन टॉप ऑफ ईच अदर ओके एंड प्लेटर कंटेन्स ट्रैक्स ओके प्लेटर्स कंटेन ट्रैक्स एंड दीज ट्रैक्स आर यूज टू स्टोर डेटा और इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके वंस अगेन हार्ड डिस्क इज मेड अप ऑफ प्लेटर्स एंड प्लेटर्स कंटेन ट्रैक्स एंड दीज ट्रैक्स आर यूज टू स्टोर डेटा और इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके हार्ड डिस्क इज ऑल्सो नोन एज विंचेस्टर डिस्क इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज विंचेस्टर डिस्क और वी कैन से द अदर नेम ऑफ हार्ड डिस्क इज विंचेस्टर डिस्क The next component, the next storage uh, device is compact disc, okay? Or in short, we can say CD, okay? So we all know that the compact disc is used for storing large amount of data, okay? And the data from a CD is accessed using a CD drive. okay and uh, the storage capacity of uh, cd is 650 mb to 900 mb as well as there are two types of cds are there first one is cdr the meaning of that is compact disc recordable and second one is cdrw compact disc rewritable okay so the main difference in between of these two versions of cd r cd r means compact disc recordable okay it can be recorded at only one time okay means we can record the cd r type of cd only once okay it cannot be recorded multiple times okay whereas cd r w that is compact disc rewritable can be recorded multiple times means we can erase some means old information from that cd and then we can record new new information or data in on that cd r w okay so that is the difference between cd r and cd r w cd r can be recorded uh, only one time whereas cd r w can be recorded multiple times okay the next storage device is the next storage device is dvd that is digital versatile disc or we can say digital video disc and it was invented in 1995 okay and it has much larger capacity as compared to cd it can store high quality of videos audios and other kind of digital information it can hold 4.7 gb to 17 gb of data and it has many versions as cd okay the first one is dvd r dvd r w dvd plus r dvd plus r w okay so these are the different versions of dvd the meaning of dvd r is as same as cd r dvd r can only recorded once means only one time we can record the dvd r disc okay whereas dvd r w is the disc which we can uh, recorded multiple times okay means uh, dvd r w type of disc can be erased and rewritten several times okay the next one is dvd plus r and dvd plus r w okay uh, these are used for the same purpose as dvd r and dvd r w okay but uh, it mainly focus on the standard compatibility quality and speed also okay so it is better than dvd r and dvd r w in these fields like uh, compatibility quality speed and standard storage device is blu ray disc okay so it is the latest optical disc format and it has same dimension as a dvd or cd but 
it can hold up to 25 GB of data on a single layer. That means blue ray disk can store the data in both sides of the disk. Okay, so it can store 50 GB of data on a dual side of the disk. Okay, next device is flash drive. So flash drive or we can say pen drive or thumb drive. THUMB okay thumb drive okay so flash drive is a small and portable data storage device which is used to transfer data from one computer to another computer and it is also known means uh, it is a removable and rewritable type of storage device okay and it can store up to 1 TB of data okay so in this chapter we have discussed we have learned about uh, all the hardware components of a computer system okay so later i will send you uh, the question answers of this chapter okay so now this is the end of first chapter okay